Hello guys, welcome to online web tutor presented by Perfect Solutions team. I am Sanjay. We are learning REST API development in PHP. This is our part 10. Inside this video session guys, we are going to study about update API method. So if we back to code editor, so far we have covered about creating a student as well as listing a student and if we want to study about or take all the details of a specific student, we have done that. So we have actually covered about single student, list all and create.php. Now this time we are going to study about update.php. It means that we will pass some ID and on the behalf of that ID we will update any information like email, mobile and name what we are taking by the help of that ID. So these are the things actually we are going to do inside this video and the whole video is now take all the data and update by using post method type. So far we have defined all the functions basically used in create.php, listall.php and single student.php inside this class. It means student.php is the main file where we had defined all the methods inside this class. So for update as well, we have to define a method inside this class and by the help of this file, we will actually communicate and call this method from this class with the help of a student object. Now inside this class at the footer position let's say public function and we are going to make a method called update and student. Now inside this student basically we are going to do and update the student information so update let's say student and information. So firstly inside this method we have to write our query. So let's say query and inside this let's say that update hyphen query and as we know from mysql command that is for the update we need to write update and finally we need to set our values so let's say update set and the column we have inside our table so if i back to browser go inside tbl students and structure now we have called name email and the mobile number so back to code editor so let's name equal to and we are going to use call the placeholder so name email equal to placeholder and finally we have called the column as mobile and this should be a placeholder but on the behalf of our id so let's say name email mobile and where id equal to and we will pass a single id so on the behalf of this id we are going to update call the name email and the mobile number so finally we have written our query now we have to prepare our statement so let's say that prepare statement so inside here let's say that query hyphen object and let's say that this connection variable so this con and we are going to use called the prepare method and finally I am to pass this variable inside this prepare method. So all we have done now we had written two statements. Now in the third we are going to sanitize our input as we know that from the post data we are going to take about the name, email, mobile and the ID. So firstly we need to sanitize all the data while getting information inside this method called update student. So if we go at the top to check all the available variables inside this class so we have called name, email, mobile and also we are going to define about public and this is id variable because inside this variable actually we are going to set about the id of that student so if i scroll down and let's say here something sanitizing input so it should be comment and let's say sanitizing and let's say inputs so pressing enter let's say this name equal to we are going to use the same functions what we have used inside create.php and it is something html special cares so if we open about create.php file and the same thing not actually this file inside this class about the create method so go at the top and these are the things so if i copy all these three lines go inside update method and pasting it here and finally 
one more thing we are going to receive inside this method something called id of that student so this id and if i copy this line and pasting it here and this id so successfully we have sanitized all the inputs what we are getting and finally we are going to use called the binding parameters so it should be binding parameters with the query so if i press enter now let's say that this sorry not this this is the query object so copy that pasting it here and we have method called bind underscore param so the first value for the name it's a string value so as for that email again for the string value mobile again for the string value and the fourth parameter we have to pass as id and as we know that id is a integer value so here we are going to use called the i for integer value and finally let's set this name we are going to bind all the value corresponding with these placeholders so this and let's email again we have this mobile and finally for this id as the student id now next we have to execute our query so if let's say our query object so copy that pasting it here and we are going to call our execute method and this will return either true or false value so let's say that query executed successfully so in that inside that condition we are going to return our true value else let's return false value so at this step actually we are going to execute our query so let's execute query all we have done now inside this student.php so if we save all this file and open up update.php inside this file we have to write about the headers getting data assigning data as well as calling update method from student.php so firstly we need to set our headers and as we know that we are going to receive about post data inside this update.php so for the references of code and to actually save our time if i open create.php so all the headers we had included so if i copy and pasting it here in that same file actually we are receiving about the post data again go to that file and here we have included these two files created objects so copy all these things up to that go inside update.php and pasting it here so after including headers we have included these two files about student.php and database.php after including these two files we have created an object of each one and by the help of this db object we have called the connect method to connect with our database and here we have created the object of a student now get back inside this post block else we have else block and let's say that http response code and by using this function let's say 503 it's not 405 it's 503 and let's say that service unavailable and here let's say echo something json encode and inside this i'm going to pass an array and inside this we have to write a status equal to zero and let's say message should be something let's say access denied now inside this post block firstly we have to receive all the post data what actually we will pass inside this via postman so let's say data equal to json decode and inside this we are going to use called file get contents and inside this we are going to read all the data from the body so php and something colon forward slash and the input so we are receiving all the data from the body and successfully we are decoding that here we are going to put if conditions so let's say if let's say not empty so inside this not empty 
and the data inside that we have parameters called name so if I again copy this pasting it here and this should for the email so email again logical and and here for the mobile and also we are checking for the ID so it should be ID so inside this line we are checking about that these all values are required while reading now let's say that these all data contains a specific value so while getting this data let's say a student dot name equal to data dot name successfully we are initializing about this property of the student object so if I again copy and paste for the four times and this should be for the email copy and paste again for the mobile and finally we have to do for same as for ID so after successfully initializing all the values inside these properties now finally I'm going to call call the student by the help of this object we are going to call update student method and this is the method we have defined inside this class now finally after calling that after getting all these values it will sanitize and prepare this statement and bind all the parameters and finally execute that so go to update.php and here also we are going to specify about the else block so let's echo so before that http response code and let's say 500, 500 error it means server error and here for the statement so json in code we are going to pass an array and inside this array let's say that status equal to 0 and let's say message equal to let's say field to update data so if I copy these response objects go inside this if block it means we have successfully updated a student so this is 200 it means that for the OK status so for the OK status and let's say this equal to 1 and here let's say student data successfully updated and also we are going to specify the response objects for this if I copy and go for this if block and if I collapse again I'm going to define else block for here as well and inside this let's say that this is something 500 and again let's say that all data needed and let's say it should be 404 and let's say data not found so if I save all these changes back to our postman and if I copy this URL open a new tab pasting it here and get rid of this ID this time we have to change the file name as update.php and also method type should be post if I hit about this get method and we have error called access denied so change it as a post method type again if we click on send button as we can see that 404 not found and here is the message called all data needed so we have to pass all the data inside this body section so before that go to headers and let's say that content type it should be application and JSON it means we are passing about JSON values inside this raw body section so here the parameters I'm going to pass called the name and let's say that if I open about the database go inside browse and we have all the data so let's say that I'm going to update this first student from this list so go to postman let's say Sanjay this is the name and the email address I want something let's say update at the rate gmail.com and the mobile we want something a dummy value and finally I'm going to pass about the ID and ID of that student equal to 1 it means that by the help of this ID we are going to update the name email and the mobile of this respective user from this database table 
so if I format this output as thing and click on the send button and there is no response so let me check about the database refresh this is my PHMI admin error and no update operation happened inside that so let me check inside this code if we open about this if block because we are going to do all these things inside this and this is the student we are calling update student method and this is the method we had defined right here so this is update set and sorry because we haven't passed about the table name so we have, we have to specify the table name so that on that table we will update that information so this was our silly mistake actually we haven't passed the table name and this is so funny so if I copy this table name go here and update table name these are the values and finally we have via condition so if we save all these changes again back to postman click on send button and student data successfully updated again back to table refresh this page and we can see that student data successfully we have updated that so successfully guys inside this video we had seen that how can we update informations of any student with the help of id so inside this video session guys if you went out then please drop your comment i will give my reply as soon as possible so for this video session guys thank you for watching and have a great day